Boom! What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mount Mograph. As always, my name is Matt, and in today's video, I just wanted to do a quick overview of some of the new and improved stuff in the Motion version 4.04 update that just synced out, uh, because there's some pretty cool new stuff in this release. So let's take a look at a brand new tool over on the tool screen. You're going to see a new category called Simulation and a new tool in that category called Canvas. So Canvas is this particle field that you can actually interact with and record in real time, um, without having to render anything. So it's definitely pretty cool. I'll show you how this works. We'll go ahead and click Reset Canvas and start recording. We do want to create a uh, sequence file, so I'll say yes. We'll go ahead and do a quick uh, kind of demo, just brushing away the particles until we're left with something that we're happy with. I'll click Stop Recording and then Add, and you're going to see we instantly have this asset added to our timeline, which is pretty cool. So I'll reset the canvas one more time, and we'll take a look at the properties down at the bottom. So you can interact with these values in a couple different ways, uh, just by entering the numbers that you might want in the text fields here. Um, I'll set this down to 1. Or you can click the properties and kind of increment them a little bit slower if you know the values that you want, or you can use the slider. So a couple ways that you can change the values and tweak them to create something that you want to use. So as you can see here, I'll reset the canvas one more time. We'll click start recording, and we're going to go ahead and try to do like a noisier animation, kind of pushing particles in the middle, and uh, just generally making it look a little bit more interesting like this. Once we're happy, we'll click stop recording, and then click add, and you're going to see this asset is also added to our timeline. So for this one, I'm going to set the circle, the track mat, to use this new sequence that we just created. And we'll go ahead and preview this, and you're going to see that in just a couple seconds, we're able to create some pretty different looks uh, on these shapes. So really fun to use Canvas. I'll show you another quick example in here. If you want, uh, and you kind of know the values, we can go ahead and set this to like 350, um, toggle through to the spacing. Maybe this is better at like 3. Um, the impact we could set down to like 97. Uh, maybe the gravity, we know like this might be fun to set down to 0. Uh, the margin, maybe we'll scale this up a bunch and see uh, kind of what we want. Maybe we want to use the particles on the outside of the field instead of like on the inside of the particle field. And maybe I'll also change the brush down, which is just like the scale up time. So let's see what this does. And as you can see here, it's kind of like pushing out the particles and freezing them because the gravity is so low. So uh, let's go ahead and reset the canvas. We'll do a quick start recording and just kind of brush away these particles. That wasn't very interesting, so I'll reset the canvas one more time and try this again, just kind of clicking and holding for a second and getting this uh, kind of particle burst effect. And when we're happy, we'll go ahead and click Stop Recording and Add. And we're going to also have this asset added to the timeline, and uh, maybe we could find some way to use it in our project. So I'll just scale this up so we can see it. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, this is just a cool and quick way to make some kind of particle animations, layer mats, displacement maps, and a bunch of other stuff. And I really recommend kind of tweaking around these settings because just by changing something very small, like this little gravity setting, you're going to see that the animations we get can look totally different. So now when I click this, um, you know, it actually all returns to the original shape, uh, which is maybe something we want to do. So... A lot of fun, this new Canvas tool, and I'm super excited about it. So let's move on to some of the other improvements in Motion version 4.04 by taking a look at the focus screen. So let's move over to focus, and just for this example, we'll grab both of the sequences that we just created, and I'll create a new group here, and we're just going to call this like our Canvas Recordings. So when I do this, you're going to see that some of the properties on the screen look a little bit different, including that the function bar is no longer visible until you actually hover a group, and you're going to get this little pop-up that'll show you like your secondary action. So I'll go ahead and lock this group and also shy it in my timeline. So we just have to see the circle, and uh, now we could you know preview the animation as we need. So another thing you can do here is I'll focus to the group is you can actually click this little label here, and now you can assign the group color also to the layers. So I'll switch this group to green, and you're going to see that the layers in the timeline are also changed, uh, just to keep everything pretty organized and a little easier to work with when you're using a focus group. So I'll even grab the circle. I'll call this a circle. We'll go ahead into our layer group and just change this maybe to yellow. And again, that's reflected in our timeline. So Basically, that's just some of the quick small stuff that's new and improved in Motion version 4.04. Uh, we did a bunch of other small updates to like scaling and some of the 
um, you know, like just bug fixing and whatnot. But generally speaking, uh, this is kind of the highlights is Canvas and some improvements on this focus screen. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. Please leave a comment below if this video is helpful at all. And uh, I would love to do this again in the next update. So anyway, peace. Thanks so much for supporting Mount MoGraph and the tools we make.